Hello my friends and welcome back. I have the great joy and honor to share a video with you of my beloved uh, friend, uh, brother in Christ, Pastor Gordon Kojo. He is a great worker in God's vineyard. You see videos with him every single day almost if not every single day with him outreaching to people, calling them to repentance, preaching God's word, straight, powerful, and many times painful for so many. When you bring the word repentance, this is the key word, when you speak about this word, people will not like it. People will be offended. God's word offends. God's word offends. Why is that? Because it speaks about sin. And people don't like to hear about sin. People don't like to hear that they have to change their life. People don't like to hear that someone tells them what to do, isn't it? We want, we have this rebellious attitude, this rebellious heart. We want to do whatever we please. And if we are not, uh, quote-unquote, allowed to do whatever we please, we will get angry. We will scream out. We will call the police, like in the case that uh, I'm presenting to you. Another instance with police uh, acting like community organizers. <laughs> police, once upon a time, they used to be uh, an institution that was respected and feared, and uh, they were seen as uh, really helping the community. Nowadays, they became more like uh, attending to people's uh, broken hearts. <laughs> what kind of world are we living in? We hear words that offend us, and then the government steps in and makes this a, as a crime. Words offending uh, someone's uh, <laughs> sensitive feelings. Can I say this? They are offended, uh, and their feelings are those that uh, yeah, they suffering in the process. Yeah, it's safe to say this way. You're gonna say, brother Gordon. And another brother, which I don't know his name, raising themselves up to the height of the situation. Why is that? Well, because the Spirit of God is with them. The Spirit of God is with Brother Gordon. Because Brother Gordon and others like him, they didn't choose to isolate themselves every Sunday in a building, worshipping there. Nobody can hear. No difference made in, in this broken world. It's easy to do that. It's still allowed. We don't know for how long. The governments of this world, every single day, they became more and more hateful, is the word, towards us Christians. At least towards those that do not conform to the world. True genuine Christians, they will not conform. True, genuine Christians, they will follow God's word. They will apply God's word in their life and they will do like Brother Gordon here and the other brother that pops up in this video and so many others that are doing street preaching. Street preaching is not easy, friends. Street preaching, you get abuse from people. Street preaching, in UK, there have been cases of people that lost their life because they courageously outreach to others. Speaking to them, not that God loves them, but about the need to repent. You speak about God loves everyone, then there is no need uh, to change. After all, isn't it? If God loves me, God loves you, we are believers, then that's what we hear, that God loves us. Uh, but I can carry on doing whatever I please, there's no need for me to change. But if we speak to them, the true genuine message, the way in which Jesus himself was preaching, the way in which John the Baptizer was preaching, they were talking about repentance and the consequences of not repenting. Hell, they didn't talk about God's love. Because talking about repentance and avoiding hell, you have to be extremely loving because you care. That's why you ought to reach the church. You talk about these things. If you don't care, you'll, you'll just hide to people the need of them and the need of all of us to repent. So take a look at this video. They call the police. 
But this young lady that was offended when she heard what God's word says about homosexuality. She was offended. She didn't like it. God's word doesn't embrace us, to put it gently. God's word doesn't embrace us homosexuality. It's not our opinion. It's not my opinion. My opinions are irrelevant. It's not the opinion of God. Gordon here, Brother Gordon. It's not the opinion of us, street preachers. It has nothing to do with us. It's God's word. So take a look and tell me what you think. Three, two, one, go. The member of public is upset. The member of public is upset. About what? The member of, the member of public is upset. Yes, for your comments. But it's the word of God. I'm yeah, reading the word of God. Hear us out, hear us out. We're not hearing anything. There's nothing stopping you from speaking. Some of your views to yourself. I've got no views. I've got no words on my own. I read it from the scripture. As Christians, there are things that have said this. I read it from the scripture. I read it from the scripture. I don't know what is written on the Bible. I can read what I said here, sir. I can read what I said here. I can read what I said to you. 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 I can read what I said the word of God is true. Like in the sense, I'm going to stop of you are not doing what you think. This is what the Bible says. Because it says, it says, it says, do you not know? Do you not know? Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6. I'm reading from verse 9 and to 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 10. I can read that. He said, don't you know that all right? I'm going to take a picture of the Bible. So I can read what is in the Bible. They were in the city. This is what I read. Everything here. Okay. We are not just with your team. We are. We are. You are putting. I don't think you are the team. We are preachers. You are. You are holy. We don't think you are the team. I read. I'm reading what is in the Word of God. Fire is good. Oh. And we feel offended. At the end of the day, we just want to. Please listen to me. Just listen. At the end of the day, we just want to ease tension between everyone. This is a member of public. If you have any questions, please, where you go to your place, where you go to your place, God is that kind of thing offends Christians and preachers people. It offends them, but you mean, okay. because you don't we'll speak it out, okay. when they can tell them that your opinion is offensive. I'll give you the point. Okay. I hope you understand my point. There's nothing wrong with speaking in public, but we all just got to keep our views to ourselves. You understand my point? I'll just give you the reference. Because that has to stop. It's very like sexy. I said everything in the word. I'm 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 liable as a This is the Bible. You shall not lie with a male as in the woman. It is an abomination to the Lord. Shall you be? If you find this as just of God, all you can talk all this, all this talk about sexual immorality, and it talks about over here, they say that if you have an animal to know now, but I'm saying that if when they do that, tell them when they have their right as whatever we also have our right. When they are doing their things, they don't come there to the world to stop. They don't go up with the police. Even the police go to make your thing. If you are lying, they should leave us alone to preach. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, the Bible says, uh, it is only the truth that can set everybody free. Only the truth. The truth is the word of God. The Bible says homosexuals will not go to heaven. The Bible says fornicators will not enter the kingdom of God. The Bible says lavishness will not enter the kingdom of God. Liars will not enter the kingdom of God. Gossipers will not enter the kingdom of God. Murderers will not enter the kingdom of God. The police must repent and turn away from their sins. The politicians, the government, all must repent. Everybody, none of them is exempt. You heard about what the police did? How people were abused? They don't exempt, they just wearing a uniform. But the heart is wickedness. The Bible says, God hate wickedness. That's what the Bible says. God hate wickedness 
and God is angry with the wicked. What did the police come to defend the Lord? They all must repent. God want everybody to repent. Everyone must repent and turn from their sins. God is a holy God. And God hates sin and wickedness. The Bible says, For God so loved the world, and that He gave His only begotten Son. He said, Ever believes in Jesus will not perish. God loves us. God is a good God. And the Bible says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. God hates sin and God hates wickedness. We are standing here to preach the truth to everybody. And the truth is the word of God. We are not here to talk about our own words, but the word of God. And the word of God is truth. Public spaces protection order in place, you're not allowed to use amplifying frequency in the square. If there's a public space protection order in place, you're allowed to preach. I'm not saying you can't, you're just not allowed to use microphone in the speaker. Why am I not allowed to use microphone in the speaker? Because I've just explained to you that there's a public spaces protection order in place, and in that order, it stipulates that you're not allowed to use amplifying equipment in the square. You say, I don't agree with that. You don't have to agree. I have right to preach. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not denying you you're preaching. Right. 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 However, if you continue, we can, why, why can I preach to a man of the Bible? If you continue, we'll, we'll have to see your stuff. Why? Why would you see my stuff? I'm, I've already explained to you three times. You can't tell me that I can't Could, could I explain any clearer? Well, why were we all on the stairs? Yeah, on the stairs. Be on the stairs. How the police know? Unless you, you don't know you, yourself. No, you can be here. I'm not saying you cannot be here. It's not about me being here. All I'm just saying to you, we've been told we can stand here. Yeah. They've told us over there we can stand here and preach the microphone. No, they haven't. No, they have. It's a public place. Unless you don't know. No. Maybe you don't know yourself. No, I think maybe you don't know. I think maybe I you've think been you mistaken. Know. I think they've maybe explained to you that I don't you can be you know. here. And you, you, are, you are against the word of God. You can continue on. You are against the word of God. If you carry on, I'm just going to take all your stuff. You are against the word of God. Why is that? I have a listen to me. You are against the word of God yourself. I'm not saying you can't preach. You are against the word of God. You don't want that, man. You are against the word of God. I'm liking this crowd just around me. Yeah, you came you came you came very intimidating. You came very intimidating. What is your problem? Is that it? Is that it? You are against the word of God. But please. But you're trying to use any words of me. You are against the word of God. Is that it? Are you the first police officer? Jesus Christ is the word of truth and the life. So you know we're here every week. The Bible says no one comes. So no, no one stops us. Except to Christ our Lord and Savior. Except to Christ our Lord and Savior. The Lord Jesus Christ is God. The Lord Jesus Christ is God. The Lord Jesus Christ is God. Authorities have no authorities have nothing against good works. Authority have nothing against good works. The authority have nothing against good works. This is good works. We are preaching, we have right to preach the word of God. Everybody has right, the same as the police have right to move in a sarin anywhere and make a loud noise. So we have right to preach the word of God. We are here to announce the word of God. This is the word of God. We preach God's word. We're not causing no offense, neither do we break any rules. The word of God must be preached and be proclaimed to the uttermost part of the world. We ain't breaking no rules. We're not offending nobody. It is the truth and we're here to preach the truth. Praise the living God. Turn it down Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is, this is. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is a good God. God is a good God. We stand with the word of God and the word of God is truth. The word of God is truth. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among men. Praise God. Are, are, you saying that, are you saying that it's too loud? Is it still not too loud? Well, then you have to walk on then, officer. You don't need to be here. If you don't want to hear it, just walk on. Yeah. Praise the living God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you don't want to hear, officer, just walk on. Officers don't want to hear, just go. 
You don't want to hear just go. God wants the people to hear. That's why God sent us here. God want everybody to hear the word of God. If the police don't want to hear the word of God, they can go. You don't want to hear just go. God want the people to hear the word of God. Praise the living God. God want the people to hear the word of God. If you don't want to hear the word, just go. You don't want to, nobody forcing the word of God to anybody. Nobody shuffle the word of God to anybody's truth. Everything is allowed in the country. Every wickedness is allowed. Every behavior is allowed. But the word of God, when you preach the word of God, they call you offense. It's true the word of God is offense because the word of God is truth. The police must repent for calling what is good as evil. And the government must repent. All the politicians must repent. We started to preach the truth. And the truth is the word of God. In the beginning was the word, it wasn't preaching. In the beginning was the word, it wasn't preaching. And the word was with God. And the word was God, and the word became flesh. You see women dressed in nudity during the summertime. They march around and call themselves pray. The police will not go and tell them that, hey, you need to cover yourself. Mm. But when a preacher preach the truth, then the police come to act like you, you offend people. The police mean to side with us. Look at a siren. When the police siren is going around too loud everywhere on the street, they tell you it's an emergency. And this is an emergency. This is an emergency. The gospel is an emergency. We are preaching emergency. Because people are dying and people are going to go to hell. And God wants them to be saved. The Bible says, once we were all sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus Christ died for us. He paid the penalty of our sins. He became the propitiation of our sins. Christ died for us so that he can bring us back to God. God is reconciling everybody to himself, to Jesus. Jesus paid the penalty of our sins on the cross. Jesus died for us. He became the substitute of our sins. Christ became the propitiation of our sins. Jesus Christ died for us. He was buried and he rose again on the third day. There is power in the blood of Jesus to wash away our sins. There is power in the blood of Jesus to wash away our sins. There is power in the name of Jesus. Only Jesus can save. If you don't know where you are defending, you will defend everything. I stand to defend the gospel. I stand to defend the gospel. And I'm not going to back down for any politician. I'm not going to back down for any rules and laws. The word of God is the truth. If you don't know what you're standing for, you, you stand for everything. We are standing for the word of God. We are standing for the truth. We are willing to die for the sake of Christ. Jesus has called us. And we are willing to die for the sake of Christ. We are willing to die for what we believe. Because Jesus is the way. Jesus Christ is the truth and the life. The Bible said no one comes to the Father. But it said through Christ our Lord and Savior. The Bible said fear God and obey His command. Fear God and obey His commandment. Fear God. The Bible said fear God. There is no fear of God. Fear God and obey His commandment. Fear God and obey His commandment. God has appointed a day. He said that it's appointed unto all men to die once and that will be judgment. God has appointed a day that we will die and that will be judgment. But if you die without Jesus, you will perish. If you die without Jesus, you will perish. This life is like a vapor. This life is like a vapor. If you die without Jesus, you will perish. Hell is real and heaven is real. If you die without Jesus, you will go to hell. If you die without Jesus, you will go to hell. Hell is a place of fire, weeping, and gnashing of teeth. And God is commanding all men everywhere to repent and turn away from their sins. Repent every one of you in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins. That you may receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repent, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. All these behaviors, all these behaviors ain't taking you nowhere. 
All the behaviors will not take you anywhere. The day you die, you realize your uniform is nothing. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. We are telling everybody the truth. They hate the truth. Only the truth can set everybody free. Lies cannot save anybody. The Bible says, let all men be liars, but let God be the truth. Let all men be liars, let God be the truth. Let all men be liars, let God be the truth. There is no other time anymore. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Only Jesus saves. Britain will not save you. The government cannot save you. Only Jesus saves. Only Jesus United Kingdom cannot save you. The politicians will not save you. The police cannot save anybody. Only Jesus saves. Only Jesus died for the sins of mankind. It was Jesus that paid the price on the cross. It was Jesus that said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what to do. It was Jesus Christ that said, Father, it is finished. It was Jesus Christ that said, Father, in your hands I commit my spirit. Only Jesus saves. The Bible says there is only one God and one mediator. There is one God and one mediator between man and God. There is only one God and one mediator between man and God, the Lord Jesus. There is only one God and one mediator between man and God, the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says we have peace with God through Jesus. We have peace with God through Jesus Christ. There is no peace in any religion. There is no peace in any way. But we have peace with God through Jesus Christ. We have peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ says, you must be born again. The Bible says, as soon as a man is born again, he will not enter the kingdom of God. You must be born again. Repent, everyone in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins that you may receive the gift of the Holy Spirit unless you repent and admit that you are a sinner and turn away from your sins confess your sins to Jesus accept Jesus in your heart as your Savior and your Lord your life will never be the same Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life this world is about to pass away the world is about to pass away Everything will pass away, but the word of God will not pass away. The word of God is Jesus. The word of God is Jesus. The Bible says, choose what you follow. Choose what you believe. God has said before everybody today, life, death, and curse, and blessing. But God said, choose life. God said, choose life, and not life in Jesus. The Bible says, choose life. Life is Jesus. The Bible says, those who do not believe in Jesus, they are already condemned. And God's wrath abides on you. If you don't believe in Jesus, you are already condemned. And God's wrath abides on you. God has appointed a day, He will judge the whole world in righteousness. Jesus Christ is returning. The coming of Jesus is at hand. Jesus Christ is coming back. Jesus Christ is coming back. Jesus is returning again. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is coming. He's coming as a judge. He will judge the whole world in righteousness. Jesus will judge the world in righteousness. Jesus Christ will judge the whole world in righteousness. Remember this, my friend. The Bible says, if my people that I call by my name, if they will humble themselves, if they will repent, if they will pray, and turn from their sins, Jesus will save them. Unless the people call upon the name of the Lord. Unless you call upon the name of the Lord. What is near, you must call upon the name of the Lord while he may be found. There is no time anymore. The wicked will go to hell. And God is angry with the wicked every day. All the people that choose not to believe in Jesus, the Bible says God's wrath abides on you. And you are already condemned. 
If you believe in Jesus, he gives you the power to become sons of God. For you to become a child of God, it takes the power of the Holy Spirit. When Jesus comes into your life, he gives you a new heart and put his right spirit within you. I'm not afraid of any man. The God I serve, he is the only God I fear. I'm not afraid of no man. And I stand to go with all everything. I stand with God with everything. People, people can fight for everything they want. Look at the young people on the street. They do everything they can. Everybody does whatever they want to do. And nobody cares. But God cares. God is the only one that cares. And God wants to take care of everybody. Because God is love. God is love. And God wants to take care of everybody. Because God has a plan for everybody. God has a good plan for everybody. But the Bible says there is a way that seems right unto man. There is a way that seems right unto man. But at the end it will lead you to death. The Bible says we are all like a sheep without a shepherd. We are all like a sheep without a shepherd. The Bible says sin will separate us from God. It is only sin. It's only sin that can separate us from God. Sin separates us from God. Sin makes you blind. Sin makes you deaf. Sin makes you prideful. Sin makes you prideful and makes you to harden your heart. Only sin can make you to harden your heart. Sin makes you to harden your heart. Sin makes you to reject God. Sin makes you to think that there is no God. It's because of sin we see violence every day. It's because of sin we see wickedness every day. Look around the society today. Look around the community today. Look at everything that happened today. Man cannot solve the problem. Only God can solve the problem. Man cannot solve the problem. Man cannot solve the problem. For how long man trying to solve the problem? You can't solve the problem of man. Humans' issues cannot be solved by humans. Only God can solve the problem. That is why we are here to bring people to Jesus, the Savior. We are here to bring people to the Savior, Jesus Christ. We are here to bring people to Jesus, the Savior. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We are here to bring people to Him. The Bible says God is not willing that anybody should perish. God is not willing that anybody should perish. God is not willing that anybody should perish. The will of God is for the people to repent and turn from their wicked ways. Because the Bible says clearly the fornicators will not enter the kingdom of God. Sodomites will not enter the kingdom of God. Homosexuals will not enter the kingdom of God. Abusing yourself in mankind, you will not enter the kingdom of God. Murderers will not enter the kingdom of God. Idolaters will not enter the kingdom of God. Liars will not enter the kingdom of God. Abusing yourself in mankind, you will not enter the kingdom of God. Lavishousness will not enter the kingdom of God. Abortion is a murder. And it's wickedness. God wants you to repent. That's what the Bible says. God winked at our ignorance. But now God is commanding all men everywhere to repent and turn away from your sins. And put your faith in Jesus. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Confess your sins. The Bible says we are saved by faith through the grace of God and not by our works. We are saved by faith through the grace of God and not by our own works. We are saved by faith and without faith nobody can please God. The Bible says that just shall live by faith and faith comes when the people hear the word of God. That is why Satan is not happy. That is why the devil is not happy and he keeps always coming and say, turn the volume down. The devil is not happy because he doesn't want people to hear the word of God. That's why he's coming in many forms. Satan do not want the people to hear the word of God. That's why they said, oh, you are too loud. That's what they said. It's affecting people. That is what they said. It's a nuisance to the public. Today, the word of God is a nuisance. Today, God's word is becoming hate speech. But everything is allowed. Because everybody don't know what it's done for. I stand with Jesus. I stand with Jesus. I trust in Jesus. And I obey the 
commandments of Jesus. I serve Jesus. He is my Savior and my God. And we are willing to die for the sake of Christ. We are willing to die for the sake of Christ. Because when we were even in the world, when we were ruled by darkness, it was Jesus that saved us. So today, when we are in the light, we stand in the light. We stand to point everybody to Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. The Bible said, no one comes to the Father. You cannot come to Jesus, you cannot come to the Father by any prophet. You cannot come to the Father by your religion. We can only come to the Father through Jesus Christ. The Bible said there is only one God and one mediator. Between man and God, the Lord Jesus. The Bible says this is God. Music. David Lastra, deep instrumental, powerful, beautiful worship. Visit his channel. It's not hard to find it. You just type in the search bar, deep instrumental, and you'll find all this awesome music that you many times, in flat every single time you hear when I do videos, when I outreach to you, speaking to you about all these wonderful things. The need to repent. I hope that the young lady, most probably herself, being a member of LGBTQ, uh, to put it this way, <laughs> I hope God's word touched her heart. It didn't bring contrition to her just yet. The contrition being, you know, that moment in time uh, in which you hear God's word and then God's word works at your heart, at your soul, convinces you that you are sinful, like all of us. <laughs> You're broken like all of us, and you need God like all of us. That's contrition. The desire comes to follow Jesus after we feel this contrition. Sadness, deep sadness for all our sins, and a strongly desire to make it right with God through the blood of Jesus. Only through the blood of Jesus. There's no other name that can save. There is none. None, no matter what they preach there. And on the street, sometimes even you hear the message of other religions, prophets, they say, gurus, they say. No, only Jesus can say. Only Jesus. Thank you, Brother Gordon, for allowing the Holy Spirit to use you in such a mighty way, educating these two community organizers. Uh, once upon a time, British police used to be something, something that was loved and admired, and they even felt kind of pride with the British police. One of the best, if not the best, in the world. What they are reduced to today, with a crime skyrocketing, pickpocketing. Stealing from shops, uh, gangs, problems with the gangs and stabbing, and so many, so many things that they need to be sorted. They have time to harass street preachers because uh, some member of the public, one in one hundred thousand, complained. My feelings have been hurt. Please do something. Mm -hmm. Well, it is what it is. God bless you all and thank you for watching, guys. See you soon. Love you all. Outreach. Don't forget. Don't isolate. If you're a Christian, don't isolate yourself in the building. Go out. Go out. Be hungry for souls. And speak to them about Jesus. The only one that can and will save. See you soon.